हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सर्वर ज्ञान माय नेम इज डॉक्टर लोकेंद्र सिंह एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू से थैंक्स फॉर योर पेशेंस लव एंड सपोर्ट फॉर माय चैनल सर्वर ज्ञान वेयर वी हैव रीच 700 प्लस सब्सक्राइबर्स थैंक यू वेरी मच सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दैट हाउ टू इंस्टॉल एंड अपडेट सॉफ्टवेयर यूजिंग आरपीएम सो एज विद इन यस्टरडे वीडियो वी लर्नड अबाउट हियम इन द सेम मैनर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न टुडे RPM. It means Red Hat Package Manager. So I will let you know two ways here. First of all, that how to do stuff with YAML, and after that, the same stuff. How can it be performed using RPM? But before starting this video, I would I would like to request you guys please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. So now let us begin with YAML. So first of all, as we run a command YAML list installed. and then we can find out whether any particular package is installed or not maybe httpd we can check not installed fine so if we need to check same command same step with rpm so we need to run a command rpm minus q q for query hyphen a for all or you can write it hyphen q a as well then after run write py grep and after that httpd or whatever package you want you can check For example, I want to check whether yum is installed or not. It means yum package is available here, and with all plugins, and utility, and metadata parser. So these four packages are installed here, which are related to yum. Fine. So now let us try to install some package here. Yum install maybe bsftpd, which is package of FTP server. So I'm I'm going to install it. so if i want to do the same stuff using rpm so how can i first of all i will need to download this rpm how we are going to download i'm going to show you within a while but before that let us remove this yum remove v s f t p d or if you want to do the same stuff using rpm so you can run command as we have already seen this so let us try to remove this particular package using rpm so r p m hyphen e e for erase V for verbose, so it will definitely show that whether the package has been removed or not. If you want to validate RPM hyphen QA grab VSFTPD, that's it. It means package is not installed here. So let us see whether do we have something here or not. Obviously not. We don't have anything. So now we are going to download it from internet. We will go. We will go to internet and we will paste the particular package and. Uh, This says that CentOS 60x86 x86 64 is going to provide the same RPM which we installed there. So what we need to do is we need to copy this binary file. We will copy address of this. We will not download this because we need to download this on server. So how do we need to download? We need to check whether we have wget command or not. How do we check? RPM hyphen QA then grab wget. Yes, we have wget command here. Or if we run wget, so it will give some error. Error means that wget command is available because it works only with your source link or where wherever you are going to download anything. So fine, I'm going to download this stuff. So it is saying that package has been downloaded. Yes, we have the package right now. So what next? Either I can install this using yum. So yum can install both type of packages, whether these are from repository or whether these are local packages. So first of all, I'm going to show that how to install package if that is available on your system, as we have it here. So how to install the package if that is available on your local system using yum command. So command is yum local install and then vsftpd. Fine. So this is how you can install your package. I'm not going to install. Okay. Now, how to do the same stuff using rpm command? Rpm hyphen i for install, v for verbose, h for hashes. It means it will show you the progress bar of installing your package. So, vsftpd is the package name. So, i for install. It means it it will it is preparing for installation. V for verbose. It means it's showing you that what is uh, happening in background and h for hashes. So, this is the particular hash map. we show you the the particular progress bar of your rpm installation maybe if this is this is of just couple of mb so it is installed very quickly if this might be of maybe 100 200 maybe 1000 of mb 
so it might be a 2 GB pa single package so it would have taken maybe 5 minutes maybe 2 minutes maybe 10 minutes to be installed fine now what next what we are going to see, see here is so for example we need to check that what all files are installed post what all files are created post installation of this package so we are going to run a command which is rpm hyphen q q for query then after we have to give an option l q for query l for list either you can write q l or hyphen q hyphen l so whatever you want you can write so i'm into i'm in the practice of writing q l and after that i have to specify package name v s f t p d so it will list all the packages all the directories which are created post installation of this package fine so sometimes what happens is you are not able to uh, find out like what all packages are installed where is the binary of this particular and what all files are created where is the configuration file if you don't know that you are going to work with new package and you don't know exactly like where to go and how to start working with that stuff so you can run this command rpm-ql and post that you will find out that what are files and directories created post installation of this particular package fine so now if you know any single file if you know like uh, there is a particular file uh, let me show you here slash etc vsftpd vsftpd.conf so this is the particular file this file is used for configuring vsftp server so what if you want to know that which package has provided this file so the particular command will be rpm hyphen q for query and f for file if you write this command rpm hyphen qf and then you give any specific file names obviously whenever any file is created on your system so that has to be provided by either of rpm for example i'm going to say etc then sysconfig uh, sysctl.conf uh, sys fine so in it script with the particular rpm which provides me this file maybe uh, randomly i'm going to check etc password file let us check what file is providing so setup is the particular rpm which provides this so if we want to check maybe shadow so setup is the particular rpm which provides this file so wherever or whatever file you feel like so if, if we check uh, maybe etc login.devs l o g i n login.devs so shadow hyphen utils is the file which provides that particular file so what i mean to say is if you want to know maybe your file is corrupted on your system and you are not able to recover that properly so what you can do is you can download that particular rpm and you can reinstall it in forcefully mode how okay let me show you here rpm hyphen q8 means query all packages grab and vsftpd is installed here let me write here vsftpd fine that is installed so what if i run a command rpm hyphen rpm hyphen i for install v for verbos h for hashes so this will say already installed nothing to do but what if i want this to be installed i know that package was already available services are working fine but someone has maybe some administrator had has deleted any files so what what is supposed to be done here hyphen hyphen force so it will reinstall the package may be possible that you are facing some dependency problems here so hyphen hyphen no hyphen d e p s so it will install package okay so it will install package without checking dependencies so hyphen no hyphen no devs is the option which is quite useful at that moment when you are going to install your packages fine so as we as we try to check here that what all options are available it means hyphen q hyphen f hyphen q hyphen l so these sort of options are available here so now if you want to check that what all locations or what all document files does specific rpm bring with its installation so we can run, run a command here rpm hyphen q d q for query and d for directories so let me write here vsf dpd so it will list all the directories a structure here that what all files and directories are installed here as documentation part so you can check using hyphen qd command okay okay my bad so qd q is a particular command now what if you want to check like what all scripts are executed before installation of package 
After installation of package and what are scripts which are executed during that moment when you run like run a command system CTL restart or maybe uh, service maybe BSFTPD restart and so on. So rpm hyphen q hyphen f s c r i p t s script and v s f t p d. So this is particular command which is executed and uh, which prints actually the shell script or maybe python perl script wherever the particular pack uh, wherever uh, the package is written and whichever language is being used to write your programming script so that particular script is executed here maybe so it's not about vsftpd if you have httpd installed so that will okay let me install package for a while em install httpd minus y Okay, package is installed now. So let us try one command obviously. So this command will get executed before and after running this particular after installing this package. Fine. So this is how we can check that what all packages are there, what all stuff do we have. And obviously, like uh, install package and file if we want to check. So there is one there is one more particular option which is known as QLP. It means if we run a command rpm hyphen q l p, so it will also print the same information which is printed by that. But what is difference? So it prints in a in particular such a fashion that it will print that whether the particular rpm has valid signature or not, whether it has generic key or not. So this sort of information will be printed hyphen q hyphen p option. Fine okay so what next is so either we can use yum or we can use rpm to install local files fine if you face an issue that you are not able to bypass your uh, maybe uh, some package is asking for gpg key so you can put an option here hyphen hyph no gpg chck this option will work okay okay sorry this option is this option is used with uh, em command this option is used with em command fine so when you are talking about any rpm so what sort of information does it bring with it so there is a particular command which is known as rpm to cpio rpm to cpio is the particular command and if we give vsftpd so it prints all the information but in binary format when I run the command, so it prints all the information, but it gives information in binary format. So what do I need to do is, so I need to run a command here, pipe, then after CPIO, it means copy input and output, hyphen interactive mode in directory session, then after whatever files are available there. So let me write all the txt files which are available. So these files should be printed here. So it will tell me that these that these many blocks are there in that particular file. So if I remove this particular, so what happens is, so it will give that these many blocks are available and the particular information like USR share, uh, VSFTPD and all. So these particular information will be printed. So this is it for this video guys. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good time. Happy learning. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel and do not forget to press bell icon as you will be notified for my upcoming video. Thank you very much. Have a good time.